What can happen if you get a tattoo while pregnant? There is stupid, and then there is stupid. Why would you want to get a tattoo while pregnant? To commemorate the pregnancy, to show the father that I love him. You do know you could get all kinds of skin infections from a tattoo. As if it will be worse than the yeast infections I've already suffered from. Some tattoo parlors don't maintain hygiene standards, putting you at risk for hepatitis and HIV. Okay, that's severe. Let's say you got a tattoo. Imagine the tattoo on your hip stretched out by a third trimester pregnancy and then striped by stretch marks for the rest of your life. I know pregnancy alters your skin tone, often darkening it. That might affect color choice a little, but it should matter a lot less than the health reasons. Most doctors will say stay away from the ink and let your kid decide to get a mom tattoo in a few decades. Do tattoos mean you can't get other shots later? Like an epidural? It shouldn't prevent you from getting an epidural if you have a tattoo on your lower back, but it really depends on the hospital. I've heard you shouldn't dye your hair during pregnancy. And you're thinking of injecting ink into your skin. You ought to be happy with henna patterns for a few months. Or I could get temporary tattoos. At least those tattoos could be removed if your doctor freaks out about it, and you aren't stuck with something that might warp and change along with your body. You're just against body art. I'm against irrevocable mistakes. Tattoos can be removed. Getting third degree burns with a laser followed by white scars doesn't strike me as superior to not getting tattoos in the first place, or getting a bigger tattoo like the classic Black Panther to cover up someone's name. Or wait until after the baby is born to tattoo her name. Just get birthstone jewelry on mother's jewelry. I could live with that. Mama needs new jewelry.